love it. I mean, as long as you never like sent my like naked images to make fun of me, I think we're I... good. <laughs> Moses, Moses, can you put gas in the Rolls Royce? Uh, me and my mom are gonna we're gonna go out later. Thank you, Moses. What's going on, guys? It's me, Trisha Paytas, and um, I just have I have a new podcast out. You guys uh, check it out if you haven't already. I really appreciate that. And oh my gosh, guys, are you guys ready? I'm so tired of all my friends like sharing my nude photos and making fun of me. It's like so not cool, whatever. But now they're canceled, so I don't care. All right, guys, what's up? I know you're shocked. I know you think it's Trisha, but it is me. <gasps> Rick Lex, I'm at it again. I know y'all were kind of shook by that. I know y'all were like, oh my God, Trisha's new video. But it was just me. What's up, guys? Okay, so first of all, Trisha has a brand new podcast. And she shaded Colleen Ballinger in it. We're going to be talking about it in this video. Before I do that, I want to say a big thank you to you guys. Because I checked my P.O. box. And you guys sent me this in my P.O. box. Like, thank you so much. And it even opens. Look. Hello? Yes, Moses. You know we only need premium jet fuel. Okay, thank you. It has like a phone to it. And you can even connect it to your actual cell phone, so that's pretty cool too. So if you send me this in PR, or what do you call that PR, PO, PO box, thank you so much, I appreciate it. You know who you are. It's a Betsy Johnson original. Okay, and then, let's not forget. I got my Colleen Badger banjo. And I also picked this up when I went to Chinatown in LA. I thought this is super, it's so cute. All right, so tonight I'm really excited because I'm gonna finally see the Barbie movie. So by the time you're watching this video, I'm gonna be watching the Barbie movie. So leave a comment because I might respond back to you if I'm bored at the movie. Cause I'm that guy, like I'm at the movies and I'm so bored, I'll be on my phone. I don't know, I think my ADD kicks in or ADHD, I don't know which one it is. But like sometimes like I love going to the movies, I get to like sit down and just, like answer comments, stuff like that. So like drop me a comment, I really appreciate it because I'll try to write you back, okay? And if you don't know what to say, just drop a pink heart emoji or whatever, red heart emoji, I don't care. Drop an emoji, okay. Oh, also I went to Walmart the other day and I found this and it lights up. And it is like a little, I don't know, like a Barbie type purse. I love it when you open it up. I actually use it as a functional purse. What do I have in here? I have the Neutrogena makeup wipe remover. I have <laughs> the La Mer lip balm, which is like $80, which costs more than the bag itself. Oh my God. That's a really good lip balm too. Like if you're like a big fan of lip balms and you're like a lip balm snob, this is this one right here. It also makes your lips bigger. Like it has that effect where it tingles and stuff. Um, I've got me. <laughs> I got me a Tom Ford makeup brush. Oh my God, this is like what, $75 too? This, the stuff in the bag costs more than the bag. I also got me another lip gloss by Lawless. I like this brand. It's like uh, vegan and like no chemicals, stuff like that. I like this brand a lot. And then Milani Cosmetics, my favorite lipstick, 410 Pleasure, and some hand sanitizer. All right, silence. Let's talk. Also, I say all that, and I went to Versace earlier today and I picked up this bag. Okay, this is so cute. Like, this is my life. Like, I love, I, I have more fun with this. But then I also like this. So I'm just, I don't know, it's my life. Okay, so for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, <gasps> Trisha Paytas started a new podcast. Yes, the old one is gone. It's all about Trisha and she has a friend in there. Um, which already people are calling him out for his past behaviors and drama. Like every time, there you go. He's next to be canceled. They're going to pull up receipts on him. Something he did in his past. Here we go. He's canceled the house on the first episode. So I want to say this before I go any further. I'm obsessed with TikTok. I've fallen down the rabbit hole of TikTok shop. And I start shopping like crazy on TikTok. And this is the first thing I bought. It is a banana duck. No, seriously. It, it's a duck and it has a banana body. I don't know what this is for. I think it's a paperweight or something you just put in your front yard or something. But I just love it and I leave it. I just, I love it. And I leave it and I love it. So guys, help me name our banana duck friend. Leave a, leave a name in the comments. We should name him. Should we name you Moses? Should we name you Trisha? Let me know. Give me a good name in the comments, guys. Seriously. Okay. We'll put it right here. All right. All that to say this. 
the podcast starts. I actually, and listen, I this is where we're going to agree to disagree. Same. I love it. Wait, what's history? It's like history, but Feminist. so like, yeah, okay. yeah, yes, like for Barbie mothers. Barbie yeah. history. I love it because I heard that before and I didn't know what it was. I absolutely love it. I mean, as long as you never like sent my like naked images to make fun of me, I think we're I <laughs> count on me to never do that. You know, I sometimes least, I get blindsided. I'm like, oh my god, yeah, I didn't know. I at least have a good moral compass too. Okay. I would say, we yeah, like just for like a, the barometer of morality. Like I was always on Team Taylor, even when she was getting canceled, and I knew I was on the right side of history. This is where you're gonna unsubscribe and you're gonna say, "That's it, Rich Lux." I have been watching you for years, but this is where I draw the line and unsubscribe. This video right here. That's probably what we are going to say. Because when I watched the Trisha Paytas podcast, I actually really liked it. I was engaged. The, con the topics moved quickly, and it was stuff that was on trend and stuff I actually cared about. It gave me, like, the type of podcast that you would listen to when you're like cleaning the house, maybe at a dentist appointment, uh, I don't know, maybe getting some Botox and filler and you have something in your ear to listen to to get through the motions of the day, that, sitting in LA traffic for, I don't know, something that would take 10 miles, for some reason it takes two hours to get there. Perfect podcast to listen to, honestly, it really is. Okay, but not, not the type of podcast you want us to at the gym, but all the other stuff, yeah. So then she says Colleen Ballinger, and when I saw that her podcast was gonna go up, I was like, she's gonna have to like bring some drama. Like if Trisha's gonna want people to get back interested into her podcast life, she needs to bring some drama, right? And immediately on that first episode, she mentioned Colleen Ballinger, I was like, there you go. This is it. Everyone's gonna be talking about this. Videos will be made. Colleen Ballinger shook. And I think that this was a way that Trisha can get back at Colleen Ballinger for what she did to her. This is Trisha Paytas' revenge. And I actually like the set better than the other. Because the other set, I said, I said it looked cheap. The other set looked cheap, the house. This set, they put a little money into it. Okay. So I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's talk about this other drama that has the internet going crazy. So, for those of you who don't know, I think it's Pinky Doll on TikTok is getting called out because people are calling her a bad mom, people are saying she's a good mom, and it is like a topic of discussion. So, if you don't know what she does, this girl on TikTok, she, she acts like a robot and an AI, and she thanks everybody for these gifts. And she, whatever emote that, you know, whatever gift you, that you give her, she emotes it. So, like, ah, oh, thank you for the roses. Like, stuff like that, right? Well, she broke character because her child was like rattling stuff in the background and like, I guess messing around with the dog and she broke character. So here we go, roll it. Balloon. Adiev, Manigan, I got your name. Wow, a letter gave for you. Hey, hi, yes, the guy feeling like a cowgirl. Let me write it, huh? Yes, 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 yes. Lexi, Manigan, I got your name. Wow, a letter gave for you. Ask me so good. Grab, grab, Nathan, you know I can't swing. Hmm. Hey, hi, yes, the guy feel like a cowgirl. Let me write it, huh? Jessica, money gun, I got your name. Wow, a lot of gifts for you. Ha, ha, bra. Yes, 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 pop, amazing. Yes, pop, oh, yes, pop, oh. Mm, that was good. Ah! Coconut, thank you, baby, I love you, yes. Nori, Nori, thank you. Oh, baby, call me. Call me. Choo choo, yes, we're going to Africa. Oh, thank you, baby. You got me feel like a queen, hmm? Stop it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, popcorn. Yes, popcorn. Grab, 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 grab. Yes, yes, yes. Ice cream so good. Meow, gang, gang. Gang, gang. Oh, meow. Gang, gang. Mmm, that was good. Coconut. Oh, 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 meow. Yes, popcorn, yes, popcorn, yes, yes, yes. Erika, wow, a lot of life, but what is it? I'm not sure. Oh, thank you, baby, where's my white dress? So I can match the flowers in my head. Beautiful, did a dance, did a dance. Hey, stop, leave the dog alone, stop it. Stop. You're gonna kill the dog, seriously. Go, go to your room, go. Say, God, toi. Dude, uh, you're gonna kill him, he's so small. 
Ouh. Yes, popcorn. Vas-y, monte en haut. Monte en haut. Non, monte en haut. T'écoutes pas, t'es pas gentil, t'es méchant. Pourquoi t'es méchant? Monte en haut. Oui, tu vas en haut, t'es méchant. Pourquoi tu essaies de le faire mal? Pourquoi? Non, c'est toi, je te vois. Je te vois. Pourquoi tu me mens? Je suis là devant toi, pourquoi tu me mens? Tu vas aller en punition. On va pas sortir, on va pas aller au parc aujourd'hui. Non. Oui! Non. Slay, hein? Yes, popcorn. Pop, amazing. Hey, hi, yes, you gotta feel like a cowgirl. Let me run it, huh? Oh, special. Oh, special. Oh, special. Ice cream so good. Oh, special. Gang, 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 gang. Ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. Gang, 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 gang. Go crazy. All right. Now, the video is very controversial because people were saying that she should not have yelled at her kid like that, that that's traumatic. Uh, that's not how it should be done. She's a bad mom, whatever. But then I also saw comments saying good for her. Um, you know, she, at least she's getting her bag. She's at home working. At least she's making money and not, you know, just living off government assistance. These are comments I've seen. Don't come for me. These are comments I've seen. Don't come for me. And I was like, okay, I can see both sides. Like, I can, I see like, I see like, you know, both sides. At least she didn't get up. I kind of felt like she should have got up. She should have been like, hold on guys. Uh uh, hold on guys. I need to go discipline my child. And then just walk away. And people would have been like listening, really engaged. And then she's like, Shh, okay, be quiet. Mama's working right now, okay? Be quiet. Like that, kind of like that. And then take the kid up to the room or whatever. Don't let it, don't let it be an online spectacle. Don't put the kid on camera. Or anything like that. She did the whole like one, two, three. She was counting down. Oh, hold on. Getting receipts right here. Hold on. Did you, oh. Did you see that? Pink? I did not know this. So after Pinky Doll, this is breaking news. After Pinky Doll broke character and like yelled at her kid, then she continued on with acting like a robot or whatever the whole entire time, like the rest of the stream. Like she didn't like stay, like she didn't, her character was not broken all the way. She came back and she she went back to work doing it on TikTok, dipping it and doing it. That's if you want to even call it that. Cause then that's, that's sparks a big debate. People are like, well, you're not even working. Get a real job, take care of your kid and blah, blah, blah. I see it. But I think that that's coming from people just hating. I think that because allegedly, you know, they're saying that she's making around $2,000 to $4,000 a live stream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So maybe they're hating on that. But that's just my opinion. Because I feel like there's a lot of haters out there. When people start knowing that, like, you... When people start knowing that you make a lot of money online for whatever reason, girl, they start hating. They start pocket watching. They want to know what's going on. But anyways, that's pretty much all the drama I have for you guys today. Let me know what you think about all that. Let me know what you think about the Barbie movie in the comments down below if you've seen it. And I hope you have a best, a best, best blessed day. See you guys later. Oh, and also, one quick thing. This one right here, I got this in my P.O. Box too. It's a scandalous. So you, you know who you are who sent this to me. Thank you for sending this to me. I love you so much. Okay, bye.